Hi, I'm Jolene Engel with the Alabaster Jar blog, and, I, and today I want to answer one of my readers' questions. It's from a wife who wrote in saying that she hates having sex with her husband, and my heart just broke broke for this wife. Um, she shared how her and her husband were virgins on their wedding night, so praise God for that. I think that's absolutely wonderful. And uh, nine months and one day later, they welcomed a new baby into the world. So um, on top of the physical pain of just being a virgin on her wedding night and then bringing a baby in, um, her body has had a lot of pain. And uh, she does not enjoy having um, physical intimacy with her husband and it breaks her heart because she longed for that and of course you know um, when you're a virgin and you're waiting to save that for your husband and you, you have all this anticipation of uh, what your marriage bed is going to be like and then to find out that it's not enjoyable um, it's very painful her heart hurts and um, it's it's certainly affecting their marriage and she doesn't really know where to turn uh, all her friends talk about married sex and how wonderful it is so she feels discouraged so today I just want to um, address um, what I believe are probably several issues that have compounded this problem so let's go back to the very beginning uh, as a virgin of course you're gonna have pain the hymen is broken it's torn um, women could even bleed so that there's pain there and you have to work through that. So one of the things that maybe you didn't hear um, or people didn't prepare you for was um, on your wedding night going in as virgins that it's going to be awkward, it's going to be painful, and you and your husband have to work through that. Um, and, and here you are, you know, waiting to get to your wedding night thinking that it's just going to be all roses. And the, rea the reality is it's, it's usually not for the woman. Um, it's, it's great pain. And uh, you, you've got your man there, and you, you basically need to tell him to cool his jets and slow down, and he's not affected. His body's not um, receiving the impact that yours is. So you've obviously had that um, experience on your wedding night, and that doesn't mean that just because you were with him that one night that the next night's going to be better, or the next night you could still be in a lot of pain. Um, and that's what this wife had felt. So it takes a while and, it, and it's a lot of working and discussing with your husband of go slower, go gentle, I'm not ready yet. But now what's happened is um, the body will uh, kind of tighten up and become really frigid because you're associating the act with pain. So this wife, um, nine months and a day later, like I said, she had baby. And now you've got the hormones. The hormones have um, can certainly play a huge role in, in this um, aspect of the marriage. I know um, in my life it did. Um, it was, uh, my hormones were just completely thrown off balance. I had zero sex drive, which for a woman, when you don't have that, um, when you're, the libido is so, so low, um, your body is not making the lubrication that a woman needs in order to enjoy the marriage bed. So you've got the issue of associating the fact that pain, uh, sex is painful. So you've brought that into your marriage bed. Now you've got a possible hormonal imbalance which causes your sex drive to be almost non-existent. Mine was non-existent. Um, and then when that's not functioning properly, then you have the lubrication issue where there is none. So that's friction that is painful so again it gets compounded okay now if you've tried over-the-counter um, lubrication I know for my body um, anything that's not a, a form of organic whether it's a lotion or facial cream whatever it is my body freaks out and rejects it so I can imagine that if you're using any of those over-the-counter stuff um, the, the name brands they probably have some chemicals in there that could cause topical issues um, not necessarily internal but external so that could aggravate it as well so you got another layer that you've thrown on top of what's taking place in the marriage bed and this wife had another baby so in two and a half years of marriage she's had two kids now let's add in exhaustion Okay. It doesn't matter if sex wasn't painful. It doesn't matter if you weren't maybe allergic to some topical creams. It didn't matter if you have a low sex drive or there's lubrication or any of that. If you're exhausted, 
you're probably not going to enjoy the marriage bed because for a wife, even if you had none of those issues, I believe that that sex is a good 90% mental for a woman because we're we need to really be um, wooed and swept off our feet pretty much all day long until we get to that time of intimacy with our, our husband because it's such a mental thing for us. We don't really know how to turn off our brain and relax and really get into the moment where they're in the moment just like that and we're just like, I'm so tired. And you don't want to have um, your intimate life like that. So my encouragement is to, um, for a husband and wife that have entered into the marriage as virgins, Praise God. I am just thrilled to death to hear those stories. you got to realize that it takes time to um, really learn each other's body. And really, that's the man's part. Um, but the woman, the wife has to be really open just to allow her husband to explore her body and for her to say, I like that. I don't like that. This feels good. That does not feel good. And my thought on the whole marriage bed is your man, he he should be desiring to please you, but you might not know how to be pleased. So that's what you learn together. Um, my encouragement is that he knows you in the marriage bed better than he knows what you like on your sandwich. Meaning, okay, I can't stand onions in anything, not an onion fan. My husband loves onions, but if he knew me more in the marriage bed of what pleased me and what, des what I desired more so there, than what I wanted on a sandwich, that's the type of relationship I want. I could care less if he knows what's on my sandwich or not, but if he knows me in the marriage bed, that's gonna draw us closer together and give us more of that one flesh and the emotional connectedness and the spiritual connectedness. So my encouragement is to relax, take it really slow, please go to the doctor and get um, checked out to find out how your hormones are. And this wife in particular, she is breastfeeding. There are natural things, over-the-counter things, or not over-the-counter, but natural things like bioidentical hormones. I took all that. Um, another thing that you could use if you have a lubrication problem is coconut oil. That's not going to mess you up in any way, shape, or form. So for the husband, my encouragement to the husband, and also for the wife is, Enjoy each other. Find out what is it that you enjoy. Maybe it's just the hugging and the kissing and, and the fondling. And don't don't expect to come to a climax or don't expect to um, maybe bring him to a climax before so you could relax. But you're entering into that marriage bed always with that tensed up, I'm not going to enjoy it. And when you bring in that mental perspective, you're right, you're not going to enjoy it. So just take it slow and try and... Um, Peel back each layer and uncover each problem at, at a time. So I hope that helps. If you have any more questions on this topic, feel free to email me and I'll address it again. Thanks so much.